Our topic for today is Robot Teach Pendant and Robot Controller by Automation Academy. Robot Teach Pendant provides the operator the ability to program and remotely control the robot motion. Essentially, a robot consists of two elements, a teach pendant and a robot controller. And the robot controller is the brain of the robot. It can also network to other systems so that the robot can work together with other robots and machines. If this is your first time here, please check my other video that are related to the topic, like interview question and answer, FANOC and ABB robotics, motor controls, electrical reviewer, and many more. Now let's proceed with a teach pendant navigation. This is the teach pendant or flex pendant of the ABB robot. And this is the main menu, status bar, touch screen or menu screen, hard keys for fast access programming, e-stop, three-way joystick, hard keys for running program, example, play, stop, move forward and move backward and running application you can only run up to six applications after that you cannot open anymore so you need to close it this is the enabling button or enabling device the enabling button is press switch with three position the switch must be in the middle position in order to activate the motors and this is the RIC5 ABB robot controller operator access. This is how you properly lock out the controller of the robot. Put the controller in manual after you bring the robot to a control stop. Then lock out tag out. We have two built in e stop, one in the controller and one in the teach pendant. You can add many safety devices on fence. Run light indicator. This light will on when the robot is running. Auto manual key switch. The main difference are when you are in manual or state mode, the maximum speed is 250 mm per second. And for auto, the speed is no limit, but mostly the manual speed is 10% of the production speed. And the production speed or auto speed is 2500 to 3000 mm per second. USB, we use USB for backup and restore. Mostly, we do backup every month or whenever you made changes of the robot in order to be updated. Now let's take a look inside of the ABB robot controller IRC5. This is the panel board, access computer board, drive servo system, input output board, customer connection, contactor interface board, drive system power board, contactor, circuit breaker, backup power bank, on my next video, I'm going to discuss a separate discussion for robot controller. And don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any questions about this topic. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's take a look every page or application of the teach pendant. If we are going to click the main menu, you can access the hot edit, inputs and outputs, jogging menu, Production window, program editor, program data, backup and restore, calibration, control panel, event lag, flex pendant explorer, system information, log of default user, and restart. For example, if we are going to tap the input and output, you can simulate the input. Example, if the prox is not made, you can simulate it from 0 to 1. And you can force the output of the gripper or clamp of your tooling, especially if your robot is in a tight space and you want to move it out. 
Next, status bar. You can also view manual and auto in status bar. Guard stop, motor on and motor off. You can also view if your program is running or stop. And how many percent of your speed? 25%, 50%, 75% or 100%. The quick access menu provides a quick access to change property for the following function. This is the robot mechanical unit symbol and it allows you to choose and access motion modes, choose coordinates and work object. If you click here, then click show details, the coordinates and motion modes is displayed and you can also change the jog speed here. If you click the next one increment, you can jog the robot in small steps which enable precise positioning especially when you crash the robot and cause joint collisions. If you click NAND, the jog speed is normal, 250 mm per second. Next, if you tap RAN mode, it will bring you here, single cycle and continuous cycle. The single cycle is for testing program only. And for continuous, tap this for normal production. Next, if you tap Stape Mode, it will bring you here. The Stape Mode will allow you to have different step selections in executing a program. Next, if you click the speed, you can adjust the speed of the robot by pressing the accelerometer. And you can do it in Production and Step Mode. The task will show you if you have one or two robots.